Treatment delivered via any type of scope is usually a safe procedure and the risk of serious complications is very low. Rare complications include an infection in the part of the body the scope is used to examine. This may require treatment with antibiotics, though you may be given antibiotics before and after a scoping procedure to prevent infection occurring. Piercing or tearing, perforation of an organ or bleeding is incredibly rare, especially when performed by an expert endoscopist. Depending on the degree of damage or where it occurs, you may need surgery to repair this. Please note, depending on the area being treated and what treatment is delivered, slight bleeding may be experienced due to irritation of the area being scoped, which is normal. You will be advised beforehand of what to expect. Vasovagal syncope or fainting. Vasovagal syncope is a condition that leads to fainting in some people. Many nerves connect with your heart and blood vessels. Under certain situations, these nerves might give an inappropriate signal, altering your heart rate and blood pressure, leading to dizziness or fainting. Triggers for vasovagal syncope or faint include anxiety and or stimulation of certain nerve pathways during the procedure. It is a rare effect that may occur during bronchoscopy or colposcopy. There are only a handful of reports of it occurring during endoscopy. Sedation is usually safe especially if discussed and planned with you beforehand, noting any previous response or side effects to sedation, as well as a review of current medications. Sometimes, however, even with adequate preparation and discussion, side effects can occur, including feeling or being sick, a bruise or burning sensation where the injection was given, low blood pressure, hypotension, and or breathing difficulties. You will be given self-care advice before and after treatment. This will include how to best prepare for the procedure and what to expect afterwards, including when to seek medical help. For example, if you notice any signs of infection, bleeding, shortness of breath, or unrelieved increasing persistent pain, see a GP or visit your nearest A&E immediately.